Starbucks puts in their coffee because theirs tastes bomb. It does. It does. And no matter like what you put in it, like if you put it, um, like when you try to like replicate it at home, it's like, why is our coffee so much sweeter? It does. I'm like, why? What do they put in it? What brujeria is this? The like caramel cappuccinos and all those. The caramel crunch one. Have you ever had that one? No, but I've been wanting a chocolate chip. So one of the things I used to do a lot when I would travel is I would go to, we're using the Russian manicure drill bit so too right now you guys to go in, I'm using the diamond moon bit from the Russian manicure to go in and prep and clean everything, is um, I would go to Starbucks and McDonald's in every country I would visit. Yeah. So like, yes, yeah, so in China in the summer because it's really hot, they had this uh, lemonade with mint in it. Oh, so good. I've been doing a lot of water with lemonade. That's really good to like help with like uh, water retention and things like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then it, and it tastes as good, honestly. And not only that, I was reading up on it too, that this uh, gives you like energy boost too. Really? Like um, your metabolism or whatever? Yeah, like it gives you energy boost, like you know, like like you know, you want to substitute something else for your coffee every once in a while. Mm -hmm. But I don't have it. I don't. Yeah, like don't talk to me. Yeah, I don't know. That's kind of why I got my drink. <laughs> that was before my coffee. You know, it's too early. Like I love her and I love her. So in Phoenix, would you have coffee in the room? Um, no, we went downstairs. We had coffee, but it wasn't like a gourmet. Good. Yeah, it wasn't gourmet. Yeah. Did they have like a, a breakfast buffet or whatever? Continental? Yeah, they had a, a Dunkin' Donuts. They had a like yeah, Excuse yeah. me. The thing is that we bought cash, and we can't even get a freaking card. Oh, a lot of are they doing a lot of businesses don't do cash anymore? Yeah, a lot of them are starting to. You know, Technically, it's illegal. Is it? Yeah. They have to accept any form of legal tender that's U.S. dollar. Yeah, it's kind of sucks to them because we go buy our stuff. And here you are with all this cash, and like I can't spend it. That's discrimination. <laughs> no. You should have. You should have said, "Is it because I am Hispanic?" You're like you. Yeah, <laughs> I feel racially profiled. Dude, now you know what? I need a lot of jobs. Do some jobs. Do that. Mm -hmm. like, do you I do that, Alyssa? If a customer wants to pay you. Uh, in cash, and you're like, no, sorry, Zell only. Oh, you want me to do that? What? Should I do that? I'll put Zell to like Zell. No, no, your customers. Your Johns, when you're doing tricks on the track. <laughs> oh, no, I only take cash only. If they got credit, then they gotta buy me, like, a bunch of stuff with their credit. And you're like, before we have the date. You better be double. <laughs> Did you see her early 2000s? I was like sausage for free. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna get demonetized. Yeah, these are cute. Okay, talking about, oh, um, she's not eight years old, but you put butterflies. Yeah, butterflies, you know, the butterflies are number one tattoos. Yeah, I mean, how's, how's that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yep. Awesome. Yeah, we're going to go have part of that for this. this round. We're going to go in the round face mobile. Oh, you want to go? We're in Disneyland. Hi love, don't forget to like and share this video you guys. Post it in your favorite nail group so that way we can reach 100 views and do a giveaway at the end. Are we close? Those are long. I was going to leave them this one on Raina. Really? Big shout out to my homegirl. That's my, what did you call me daddy? But Raina's not a ah. Raina's not a one man uh, woman. No, she likes multiple. You know, she keeps it OG. Okay. <laughs> yeah. As long as I'm the number one, gotta keep it right. Gotta keep it tight. Gotta keep it fresh with Raina. Oh, I don't know. Tight, tight. <laughs> Smelling like roses. Smelling like Medusa. Do you want me to go The cups or the Keurigs? The cups, Keurigs. Dunkin' Donuts? Donuts? I like it, but some people don't. They say it tastes too, too, like, too sweet. But I like it. I like it. Dunkin' Donuts? Yeah. Let's measure these bad boys. Like, hand in hand.
So when I measure the nails, I measure them from cuticle to cuticle to make sure they are the same length. Because we want them as paternal twins, not identical. Yeah. What's the other really popular um, cookie place? What, Crumble? Do they have coffee there? I want to go because the cookies are good and the ones that you guys posted on the wall. Yeah, but they're, they're, they're it's weekly. They do like a turtle kind of cookie. Like caramel and pecan? Uh, yeah. Yeah, if you want some, I'll like. And then you can go pick it up at the store? That's not bad. I want to buy it for Huh? What? Why? You don't want no cookies. <laughs> you don't need no cookies. You know that uh, my mom when I was like than Andrea. She because I think because of her overweight, she had me on the diet. She did? Yeah, she and she just wanted to make sure that I came out and you know Did she eat a lot? Really? What would she eat? I would see her place sometimes and it'd be like, Wait, she's like Nima, give me more. Literally, okay, the place right here, the pile would be literally that big. Oh my gosh. And then that was only just the, just the food part. I mean, you're not talking about the sweets. Dude. Like the drink and everything? Uh -huh. So she likes her coffee really sweet? She likes everything. She loves to go to restaurants. I remember that growing up, I did go to a lot of restaurants. You remember, do you remember the first over there at, at Park Yeah. Park? yeah. Park? yeah. Park? yeah. Park? yeah. Park? yeah. Park? And the first right there um, by St. Yeah. Mary's. Yes. <laughs> First, the millionaire pie. Oh, I love it. The millionaire pie was I like so good. Pie, I never had that one. I always had the millionaire the pie. pie was good. It was fresh. It was like so bomb. Never? I don't like cookies. Really? Yeah, like Santa Cruz that's baked in caramel either. And I remember everybody always used to go to Furs after church too. It was yeah. always packed on Sundays. I remember seeing the boat. You remember the boat pictures and all that at, at the Mall the boat pictures. Yeah, they used to, on the wall. They used to have like pictures of boats and. You know, I don't remember that. They used to have because remember they had certain sections open. You go down to the line mm -hmm. to get the food, and then they would have like certain sections. And hometown buffet. You know, I never got a chance to go to. Um, I'm a steak person. I love steak. Really? I'll tell you a story right now about steak. I never got a chance to go to. Um, sweet tomatoes. I never had a chance to go to Sweet Tomatoes. What was that for? Yeah, they all closed. So I never got a chance to go. And do you remember back in the day going to Olive Garden, like people walk? I know, we do a lot of like we it's hard for me to go on the TV. Really? Yeah. It's because I think I got my kids used to that too, like to go eat in front of the TV, you know? Even though that's bad for you. I know. Because they say our brains are processing what we're watching, so when we eat watching television, we don't uh, know when we're getting full. It's true. So like I remember when I was a kid, my mom would never let me like watch TV. Yeah, like, now she doesn't care. Yeah, she's like, okay. she's like whatever. With you. <laughs> but sometimes you do like you're watching something and you want to eat. Yeah. I miss I think eating. I, I, think I caught that from like the old movies. You know how they used to put the TV in front of the table and stuff like that. And the little trays. Yeah. Really? A TV dinner tray? Yeah. Cause my mom and dad, they were like typical family. Like, okay, my mom and dad alone and dad, but they, they came from schools where they worked at school, you know? Oh. Is that Andrea then? Is that explains it? Uh, 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 it's, it's, <laughs> no, but yeah. If you guys are missing a gallon from your order. <laughs> it was Alyssa's fault. <laughs> it was a one thing. No, but yeah. It's gonna ship by itself. It left separately. No, but yeah. So that's why like, I, I kind of figured that out at a young age growing up. You know, when I see a lot of that. My mom, this is what she was doing. She was good. She was not really good with food. She didn't know how to have a lunch good. Because uh -oh. the first week she'd eat out. You know, like, and there goes all your food. money. Yeah. And then when it came to the second week, where you remember the sopas? Maruchan? No, regular sopas. You know, the carne or mom, and then I was like, video? Yeah, kind of like that, but with the macaroni elbow. Mm -hmm. But she had to let it cook a little bit too long to get all the snacks. Really? Wow. Um, from 
2 in the afternoon until 10 at night, 10, 11, 12. Mm -hmm. So she had, I grew up with those hours. Like, that's why I was real bad. I'm not really I think any school. child of, like, me, uh, Hispanic parents was, like, who grew up with, like, the soap opera time schedule. Uh -huh. Even now, too, my mom, she was just like, don't, I'm watching oh, my... Oh, my daughter, you couldn't even change her channel. Like, if you put it on the English channel, oh, no. It's uh, on, like, Donkey yeah, Kong. Yeah, she didn't want you touching her TV. She's like, where are you moving it? I didn't watch my stories. <laughs> My mom was staying there one day, and you know, my mom and them were all growing her and my dad and stuff. And she had 10 o'clock, she would turn off the TV. Really? And it was like one of those ladies, you know. Like, and unplug them. But you know what? She was an independent lady. I gave her that. For being like born in the 1930s, you know, growing up in that era, she was a single mom. Really? Yeah, my, gra my grandfather, the one I told you about the 50s. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess he was the She put the pushing boxes here. I'm like, I don't have it delivered here. <laughs> I like seeing they got a lot of stuff that fits her people like My mom likes seeing a lot too. But you have to you can get a lot of tops, especially with Mexicans, a lot of the times we're talking to me. The big so, boobies? Yeah, so you have to find like special like this is like one of the first times I've ever gone to be in Centrop without fucking without Ooh, fun! With the little early two thousand style design. What are you doing? Oh, I don't allow my face to be recorded. I don't. It's not your face, it's your hands. I don't allow any part of my body. I should. But I gave you an idea. You signed an NDNA. I didn't. I didn't. I have a collection of bad pictures of Alyssa. And she's like, "Why do you have these pictures?" And I was like, "Because they make me smile." <laughs> They're not that bad. I'll show you one right now. I can never take a picture. Only once in a while when I do the Go into the sagebrush. So I'm using the MyFirst nail brush because it soaks up very little monomer. So that way I can really pick up the glitter and put it where I want to without like putting it overlap too much. You know what I mean you guys? Because I want to have a more precise glitter up to kind of seal. But it looks like I can't get rid of her. Not until she dies. Unless she works at the uh, corn dog place. She's like, Max, it didn't work out. Where does that corn dog place be at? You know, this hasn't even invited me to her house yet. It's not ready yet. And I thought I was her friend. Really? You, even you've been to her place? Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. Wow, yeah, now I know. Together. Now I know where I stand. On her 75 inch television? Yeah. 70. It is 65. What, 65? Oh, never mind. There's no things. Oh, I'm sorry. Not everybody can have 70 inches. 75. Oh, yeah. 70. And I got it at a good deal at Walmart too. How much was yours? Like 500. Oh, it's not too bad. How much is yours? I think like 800. <laughs> 800? Can you get my new one? No. <laughs> That's Alyssa, hi. That's Alyssa Edwards. The one and only. She's related to Angie Perez. Is she the angel baby? No, it's not, even, it's not even Angie Perez. It's Amanda Perez. <laughs> I always thought she was from California, but she's I not. Candy, you know? <laughs> Indiana. Okay. Pregunta al Victorito si agarró la dirección de la mujer. God sent me an angel from the heavens above. I was surprised that I have more followers than her on social media. Yeah. She only has like 152,000. <laughs> that goes here at the county fair. Yeah. Are you talking about my girl? She's fine as well. We're gonna get, we're gonna get my video demonetized. That's what you said about. I like Gloria. Or what? No, no, no. Well, like Gloria. She's awesome. She is? Max, I make your day go better. This, I'm the reason you come so much every day. Actually, when you weren't here, it was really nice and quiet. So you want me that again? We were like Alyssa. Who? Yeah. yeah. Wasn't it really peaceful, Andrea? <laughs> no, because Andrea was calling me every 24-7. Yeah. 
<laughs> she was all worried. So she... help me. I went back so long. <laughs> I didn't even notice she was here. <laughs> Her, uh, what do you call it? Uh, American next whatever. Yes, actually, they're almost, they're pretty much ready to sell. I just have to take pictures of the final one. You should come and take a picture um, on the desk so that way we can promote it like in the old, <laughs> old like, magazine. Oh, like your, like, like your home girl. Like that. One of my bathing suits. Yeah. <laughs> one of your pink sheen bathing suits. <laughs> Hashtag uh, bikini by sheen. Desk by Eno Couture. Hashtag body by Body by the south side. From the stage brush. Dancing. I should put some comedies on right now. What was your song? La Chona? Yeah, I have a song. Dance because, like, it's, I was telling you, when there's dad, don't dance. He doesn't, he's never danced. Where are you going, round face? Already? Why? Did you get that lady's um, correct address? Oh, can you call her back? Okay. Shalissa. But shh, it's silent. <laughs> yeah, of course. That was such a fake yeah. <laughs> For real, that make it rain. <laughs> She's gonna be like, <gasps> all choking. <gasps> <laughs> For real, like she would kill it at like the boat. That's how we roll. What you doing, homie? Yeah. Our I mean, I'm sorry, our freaks. Homie, I'm here for a mile. No, no, okay, what time? Okay. You guys are gonna give me the monetize. Friend inviting me to one of those. Would you, hey Frankie, would you see um, Alyssa if she was at the strip club dancing? Would you pay money to, to go see that? What about Raina? Would you make it? Does she make it throw? Does she make it rain when she's at the club? I need to remember. When was the last time I went to a strip club? Oh, I've been there. I've been to the strip clubs in Toronto. They're very memorable. Miami has pretty good ones too. Um, no, I've never been to one in Mexico. Are you guys clocked out yet? Are you guys clocked out yet? Wasting my time. I was, uh, I was making this house way better. You see how these people were telling me? Like, they were like, yeah. I hate bad bunnies. I agree. I don't get it. I don't know why you're so popular. Do you like bad bunnies? Mm -hmm. yeah. All the songs sound the same. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I thought you were going to read the comments, Drea. Oh, cool. I know you Alright, now let me comment. How many the... Uh, your mom can read them. Don't be reading the bad ones. You can read the bad ones. We need to open up an OnlyFans for Shalissa.
Yes, it should come up. She's not even gonna work anymore. She's gonna go get chicken. Let's gonna, aren't you gonna ask, hey Max, you want do you want some chicken too? Yeah. Boss? Hey boss, you want some chicken? No, I don't want anything anymore. No, thank you. I appreciate it. No. Why, you want a party? No, it's too early. I have a whole case in the back. They used to call them whippets back in the day. Oh, but now they have the idea to buy those things. Yeah. Uh, that cans of air? And I never knew that's what it was for when I could bring up the dust. I had them in there to clean my desk. I use them to clean up the dust to get rid of the dust. Yeah. But they're expensive. But I mean, you know what's good for them. <laughs> well, I wish I was a casino. I know. But it's kind of sad though to see like people like lose all their like you know what? The weekly that's, salary. That's one of the main reasons why I don't gamble. And then I think less working than having to stay there for your whole shift. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's strange. Yeah. But because I think we live in such a small town, there really isn't that much to do either. And everyone's like, oh, let's just go to the casino. But it's like, unless you really well, gamble. Honestly, you know what I thought about? There is not. What's the name of the Matt Ewers? It's an acupuncture map. It's supposed to help with like my circulation and everything like that, but I don't know if it really works though. Your chair? Yeah, it has an acupuncture map on it. Uh, I still have, they, they wouldn't let me order stuff like that. I just, you know. Really? Mm -hmm. So it has like little spikes on it, but I don't really think it really I used works. To, I got this one thing for my feet. Mm -hmm. well, do you wear compression stockings? Uh, no, but. You should. Yeah, yeah, especially, do you walk a lot or anything like that or not really? Not really, not so much. So that way you don't get like um, blood clots and things like that to keep the circulation moving in your legs. You can get them at Walgreens, but they're cheaper on Amazon. I think my mother has a lot of them. She has a lot of different things in her Yeah, she's just sleeping them. If she doesn't wear them in the day, at night at least. Yeah, she wears them like all the I just can't wear the over the knee ones because I have such big thighs. Mm -hmm. They cut the circulation, so I wear the one underneath, underneath the knees. And then I would like try to like certain chairs that they you know, like little bags of Mm-hmm. I could order more, but I don't You know what else I don't like about casinos? The smell. Oh yeah. When you're leaving the casino, the smell of the casino. Yeah. Your clothes is like penetrated. It's like leaving a nightclub. You leave a nightclub and you can smell like it. I used to work there. I used to like by the time I got home. And then they make you wear uniforms and stuff like that. And they literally make it here. There's nobody with the at the dog tracks, their, their, their uniforms were more like secure. So like more like yeah, comfortable? Yeah, like really low cut. They wanted the guys yeah, to spend the money? Or, yeah, sports and stuff like that. You know, shorts and stuff like that. And at the and casino? In the casino, it was like all the way to your neck. Oh my gosh. I literally had it buttoned up to my neck. Oh yeah, they're like big puff, puffy yeah, shirts. Oh, I don't remember though. And then the pants they give you are not flattering at all either. Like in the- in Like the, MC Hammer pants, huh? Yeah, like the, the ones that they had. Like when I was a big server, mm -hmm. they would let you like pretty much wear your own pants or whatever. And as long as they were black. But the, um, the ones that they gave me when I was a, a jackpot pant for some reason was so awful. I didn't the pants look like, like if you were like an old dude. <laughs> like up here? Yeah, it reminded me of my dad's pants. What was the most you paid out when you worked um, at the jackpot? Well, uh, the most I paid out was 70 something. <gasps> Cash? Mm -hmm. Did the person have an escort? Two times, actually two times. Really? I did it once at the dog tracks and then it once at the casino. Did the person have an escort to take them out uh, out of the casino? Not necessarily. The casino, no. At the, at the dog tracks, no. There's there's not really... At the dog tracks, there's never like, really security like the way there is at the casino. You know, there's security everywhere. Mm -hmm. like, their screens are so clear, they can see everything. At the dog tracks, it was pretty much black and white. <laughs> Their security cameras are literally still and black and white. They have a, I can't remember what it's called, but I've seen it when they have like shows about like Breaking Vegas and things like that. Yeah. The people that like watch the, the the floor pit managers, they have a name, like a ringmaster almost. And they're there, like especially at like card like games. Boss? Yes. And they're watching everything too, and they're yes. like, they train them too. Oh, they do, they do. I could have been, I could have went and did uh, Last Drive, but I never really got into it. I was better in the jackpot payoff, because we got more tips. 
I used to take home like four to three hundred a night. Wow. And that's splitting it with everybody. I would have kept all the tips and stuff. There would have been a lot more. So they had like a communal tip? Yeah, thing? well, because I was pretty much the only one that San Antonio, my girlfriend, said that's what they could do. That's what they're called, I think she said? The pit masters. Yeah. I know, they, what do you call it? Oh, but they, they, they train you. They train you to be an eye in the sky. For real. So that's the uh, security oh, system, God, huh? God, yeah. They, like, they, they even have like Togo. It's um, part of the tribe. So, mm -hmm. And they walk around and they as them as well. You know, they watch everything. So it's not just the security. It's Togo. It's like uh, the tribal gaming. You know? Association? Watch pretty much everything, so they know if somebody's trying to pull something, you know. Because counting cars yeah, is like the bad one, right? You don't think that happens, but it really does, especially here. Mm -hmm. So now I'm gonna seal everything with a nice little card. Oh, wonderful! I used to watch that one show in Las Vegas. Did you ever watch that show? I think I've seen it like on History Channel or something yeah. like that, like about Breaking Vegas. No, 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 no. Uh, Las Vegas is uh, John. But it's a good, it's a good show, it's a good show. It was on for a while, from 2010, for a little bit, but now it's canceled, though. But I think like the biggest kind of like casino scams are counting cards, right? Yeah, counting cards. Because you can't really like cheat a slot machine, can you? Because they're programmed? Sometimes. Like what can you do for a slot machine? Mm -hmm. Somebody knows like how to do wiring and stuff like that, that's something you can figure out. Because I heard some people put like magnets on it, but like I'm pretty sure nowadays with technology. No, no, no. Okay, when when they when I first started working at the casino, they had the old machines, right? That had the money that come out of them. Yeah, they would. No, 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 no. They would. They didn't have. No, no, they didn't have that. It's just more tickets and stuff like that. But the old machines used to hit a lot. But once once they put the new machines, they stopped getting. Because the machine has to pay out legally. By law, but I don't know how long do you have to wait until the machine has well, to pay out. They still have regulars that would win a lot all the time. I used to, we used to always be cashing. When, when they put the new machines, we went from having three to four hundred a night to sixty dollars. Wow! But I would make a lot of the horses because I was more Spanish than they. So you would help out the yeah, like, yeah. a little Mexican drug dealers and oh, things no, like that. See, they're the ones that used to give me the most tips. The little mafiosos. Yeah, all of the people because we got the one up here on Ryan Road get a lot of people. From and and you know a lot of people don't really know how to speak Spanish, so I would you know get a lot of like, when when they had like the because we used to cash out eight hundred dollars like five hundred dollars eight hundred dollars tickets, but when they put that one new law saying that that you know you have to only get when it's twelve hundred dollars or more for the jackpots. Yeah, so I lost a lot of like forty dollars tips because on an eight hundred dollar ticket they would give me forty dollars tips. Just like that, right? Yeah. And when they put them in the machines and, and when they raised up the bar, you know, to 1200 and, and stuff, we lost a lot. A lot of customers? A lot of tips. Oh, tips. and people were paying out less because... Yeah, because they weren't winning as much as they used to. And, they, and I had a lot of my customers come from saying the machines weren't hanging out like they used to. Well, they, they don't get that big the casinos by giving away money, huh? <laughs> they get their free uh, cop meals? Yes. Oh, my God. I know. I have some people that I know, like, some people. Go ahead. So she was flirting with him. She's like, oh, you're lucky. You're yeah. small talk. <laughs> I'll be your <laughs> Put your thumb in for me, my dear. Shine. They have to throw it away, huh? Because yeah. they don't want anybody to get sick. Yeah, they can't, they can't give it to anybody. Don't they look like pre-designed tips, you guys? Are we giving you early 2000 vibes? Yes, but the lady got caught and they escorted her out. But she was getting all the steaks. And they were like, wow, why is she eating so much steak? She was taking them home. So her husband must have liked it. <laughs> For real, so her husband must have been lucky. He's like, everyday steak for me. Every week. <laughs> well, my loves, that's going to be a wrap for this design. I hope you guys enjoyed it and check it out. And don't forget to take advantage of all the products that we have here at InnoCouture.com. She's like, I got to go shopping again. Get some stickers and some French chips and recreate this early 2000s vibes. I love it. And everything's encapsulated too, so that way it grows out really nicely and you don't have to worry about anything getting tangled or anything too. So I hope you guys enjoyed this demo. We didn't reach 100 today, but there's always tomorrow and we will see you guys then. Have a good night, everybody.